Oh yes, welcome back to another career mode episode here on the Twisty3 channel. My name is Dean, hello, I hope you're having a fantastically pleasant day. And today, uh, obviously going through more of our Ashes Cricket career mode, and we are in the middle of an Ashes series, the Aussies lead 2-1, but at the moment in Game 5, as the first test was a draw, the Australians trailing by 278 runs after England demolished them, holding them out for 289 there in the first innings. The top score was Matty Wade with 53, Pat Cummins with 53. Also, I made 45, Renshaw made 51. But it's all off the back of old mate BC Censored. We don't know who it is. There are some fan theories in the comment section as to who it might be. Unfortunately, I've got no idea. I've tried to update a couple of teams, still with no result um, for th who this bloody guy is. He took seven wickets. 97. Unbelievable. Let's see if we can just knock England over relatively quickly and don't want to really be chasing any more than 500. I mean, if we, if, if, if we are going to chase something like 500, we may as well bat for a damn draw. Because that way we still win the series. It would be a 2-1 win. But it would be an epic 2-1 win if we could hold off for a draw in those circumstances. I can see actually there's a big footmark. Oh, that's cl uh, it's too turning too much. Turning too much. Right, I can see on the left-hand side of the pitch there, on my end, you can see there's a big bit of rough right down there. Yeah, hang on, can I just... Right here. This bit. Now, I don't know why I haven't been bowling from the other end. Maybe because there's no left-hander in. There's a left-hander in. That's a good spot to go. Anyway, it's a bit of turn in the wicket. Made over to start here. And that'll be the end of the session. So we're going to go into lunch here on day three. England one for 20 after Josh Hazelwood started really well. Love your work. Don't know what the bowling choices are, though, with me and Grant bowling this early. We're both spinners. you got to put the pressure on early with Mitch Stark, Josh Hazelwood, and Pat Cummins. Otherwise, I don't understand what's happening. Oh, run out. Two for 30 now. Joe Root at the crease. L Drummond, 10. So it was Tom Fell to, to be dismissed. Who got him out? Mitch Stark. See what I mean? How, how big and dangerous these fast bowlers are early. I'm not sure why I'm bowling at this point of the innings. That's going to be boundary according to the reaction of the crowd, but it's only going to be two runs. Oh! I went up there because I thought this was a chance. Nah. The guy's got to actually be a little bit finer. Okay. Okay, Maxi. Started it. Keep backing it up, fielders. I like this. It's two pieces of fielding that have been very nice in this over. We make it three. Oh, yeah, it's shit. <laughs> Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Oh, lovely piece of bowling. There was just a matter of time before I dismissed somebody. Joe Root playing this one off the back foot. Top of off. Top of off. And a massive wicket for the Australians. How excited can you be in your home town? Ben Slater to the crease. And the Aussies can't quite get the wicket they were after. So this has now been a big partnership. I just... i just taken the Joe Root wicket. Taken out of the attack. And then a massive partnership goes on. So we head, head toward the tea break here on day three. England 3 for 168. Uh, Joe Root dismissed for 24. But Bell Drummond at the moment. 91 not out. Massive pair to be broken, England, with a 426-run lead at the moment. Slate is gone. Bell Drummond's still in. And we dismiss England 4 for 170. Good piece of fielding there. I like your work. Yes. Swept and... Oh. There's a reason I have this mid-wicket fielder in, okay? I know it's it's never worked and it's never going to work, but here, every time, it just... Just always a meter too far. Can't I move that guy slightly? Surely there's like a custom fielding option. I can't even field my own bowling. That's rubbish. 
So Cummins manages to take five wickets. England with a lead of 686. Halfway through day four. There are now two options left. We chase down 686 in two days play. Or we survive for two days. I think either result is not going to be fun for us. So already... We are down to 18 overs left in day four. Australia three down for 169. And a boundary I think is gonna get me off the mark here. If it gets to the rope, no it doesn't. It's three. And I'm in with the captain who's 94 not out at the moment. I mean, the reality is we're gonna try and play for this draw. Can we secure the series, or will it be a draw? I mean, will the series be a draw? 687, that's a lot of runs. Wait. And it's going to be a massive challenge, massive task. I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to get 600 runs in the next... So, we're going to have to play for the draw. Which means, staying in as long as you can. Alex Ross has brought up his 100. Three, four, one, eighty-eight. All right, everybody. It has been exactly a week since I recorded the first part of this episode, and I cannot fully recall. What was I? What day was that? That was last Monday. Oh, I got called into work that day. That's right. So I ended up. It's just a big debacle, and I it was only I think about. 15 or 16 minutes into my recording session of the last part of this episode, so I decided just to end it there because these things generally take me about an hour plus to record, especially these test matches. So I'll just go through the state of the game with myself at the end of this over, should we survive it. Oh, jeez. Alright, and that's a couple of runs again. So... A, oh, it's not even the end of the over. But it's four. Aha! What am I on? 11 from 14. Jeez, I am, uh... 680... Did that say 687 is the target? Gee whiz. Okay, I'm a little worried now. <laughs> so, um... This is just for me, really, to remind myself. But also, I guess, to remind you guys as well what the hell's going on here. Uh, Australia trailing by 490 two runs with seven wickets in hand it is day four what time is it it is 4 27 so there's about four and a half sessions left it's almost an impossible task but within the realms of possibility there's no uh, issues it looks like my camera's spazzing out what's going on there i almost genuinely feel like this is now a completely new day in a in a match because I am completely out of it in terms of my own personal timing of how I'm going about this. And I've just got to relearn how to play. It's like, you know, you have that overnight. You might have made a hundred runs on the first day, but you got to come out again and bat well the next day. And right now I'm feeling the pressure of uh, not really being in <laughs> when I should be somewhat in. Oh, yep. It's worked away onto the leg side again because it is, our, of course, our strength. It will be four runs. Three for one, nine, nine. Yep. And when you just time the sweep well, it just... It's four. Oh, yeah, that one was even easier to do. Actually, this is going to hold up, isn't it? Oh, no, it's four. Whew. How many overs have we got left in the day? 9.3. I think if we survive the day three down... Wait. It's going to make a real interesting uh, fifth day of cricket. Because obviously seven wickets is a lot of wickets. 450 runs. He's also a lot of runs. But in this game, and yes, it is a game, you can get away with this stuff. Get away with making 400 runs in a day's cricket. And AI do it better than anyone else. See, we're going at four, four five runs and over. Our strike rate is close to 100 in this inning. So... Every little bit is possible. End of the, uh, oh, no, it's not the end of the over. It's a wide. It's three for 234. 
And they can just continue to bowl there. I'm not going to hit it. There's a very little chance I'm going to take that risk. Although my confidence is now at max. So that's something I can probably look at doing. Anyway, end of the 49th. 3 for 2. 36. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, yes. That was the perfect shot. Honestly, you could not time that ball any better. Five centimetres from the stumps, and it has just raced to the boundary rope. Let's just one more time, shall we, please? Have a look at this one, because, oh my goodness. In slow-mo, what have we got? Was it a full toss? It was. It's not quite off the meat of the bat, but it's, you know, it's there well enough. And uh, good, good luck chasing this ball, because honestly, it is flying. No run. That one darted in a little bit as well off the seam. Oh, it's 250. That's five and over. 90 in a day. 450 runs. So if we can get 450 runs in the last day, we win the test match. Now, three overs left in the day's play. We're just going to continue to block it out. Also, I may not have noticed this, but we lost a wicket. And <laughs> I almost made us lose another one. Oh, gee, that ball rocketed. But it is obviously a big, big loss to lose that fourth wicket just before the end of the day's play. We're now four for 262. And with only six wickets in hand, it means we're probably going to have to play for the draw tomorrow. I mean, if we don't play for the draw, I have to make, what, 250-odd runs or something? So this Ashes series could end up being a draw. If, uh, if England win, obviously, it's a 2-2 series. So we have to play to survive rather than playing to win because, obviously, it's the percentage thing to do. But 90 overs, very long time to survive as well. Whether or not we can maintain our uh, 540 balls. It's a long time. Very long time. Oh yeah, that's in the gap as well. Didn't realise. Did pick up two. Not keeper's end. They've gone the bowler's end. Should have gone keeper's end. Throws, throws the stumps down anyway. Four for 265 with two overs uh, left. Yeah, I feel like I should be the one to face majority of these last couple of balls. Even though I've been at the crease the longest. Oh gee, there was a bit of air on that one. End of the over. Off 266. Oh, yeah? Just because it's the last over doesn't mean you can't make any runs. It could be a boundary. Or three. I'll let that one through. So, yeah, that'll be a wide, won't it? Yep. And that one will go through to the keeper. So, the end of 57 overs of Australia's innings, the second innings, they are four down for 277. England in a commanding position at the end of day four. All right, um, myself and Glenn Maxwell are gonna try and survive 90 overs on day five to give Australia a 2-1 series win if we get the draw. If not, and it's a uh, England victory, it's a two-all, series is tied, and we don't even know what happens next. So, a couple of occasions earlier in the innings, Right now you can see Joe Root is sitting there and they've got a deep forward square leg. The other choice of shot is sort of hitting behind square on the offside. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness, no! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! 